Hey Star Warriors, Stargeek here, and welcome to why I think Han Solo should die in the new sequel trilogy. You all voted for it, so here it is. So, why do I want Han to die? He's one of the most popular characters. How could anyone ever wish the coolest smuggler in the galaxy dead? Do I hate him? Well, if you've seen my top 50 original trilogy Star Wars characters video, you know that I definitely don't hate Han Solo. In fact, he's my fourth favorite character. Han Solo is the perfect character for his role, with mixed intentions, witty remarks, and a suave demeanor. And he needs to die. Let me explain some context on the origins of this idea, dating back to 1980. The Empire Strikes Back, the strongest yet darkest of the saga. Episode 5 really depicts the difficult experiences and trying times the Rebels were going through. The Battle of Hoth is lost, Luke learns Vader is his father, and a main character dies. Well, kind of. Lando Calrissian betrays his close-ish friend, turning him over to the Empire. So Vader uses Han to test out the carbon freezing chamber, risking his life. This was supposed to be the theoretical death of Han Solo. At the time of filming Empire, all of the actors had signed on to do another film. All except for Harrison Ford. He wasn't sure if he wanted to appear in another Star Wars film, so he thought it would be a great idea to sacrifice Han for the good of his friends. That's how the carbon freezing chamber scene came to be. Of course, George didn't want to just kill off one of the fan favorites, so he let Han remain dormant under the carbonite casing. When Return of the Jedi came around, Harrison Ford again pushed for Han's death. He thought that it would be a great way to up the stakes during the final battle. But George Lucas once again declined Ford's plea for a Han death scene. Harrison Ford jokes that the only reason George left Han alive was because a dead Han Solo action figure wouldn't sell. Ever since then, Ford hasn't wanted anything to do with the saga, and has frowned upon answering any questions or appearing at any Star Wars related events. That is, until the announcement of The Force Awakens. Harrison Ford signed on to play Han Solo once more. Some say that Harrison Ford signed on just because of the money. Some say that he signed on solely out of respect for the character. I definitely agree with the idea that he has great respect for the character, which is exactly why he signed on, but not just because he wanted to be good ol' Han again. He was bribed into acting as the smuggler. It's just a speculation of mine, but I have a feeling that Harrison Ford signed on because this new sequel trilogy promised what he's always wanted for his character, a good death scene. Now, I'm not exactly sure which film it should be in. It could be the upcoming Episode 7, or in my opinion, an even better choice, Episode 8, mirroring the idea that Han dies in the second act. So why do I personally think that Han should die? There are multiple reasons, one being that it may satisfy Harrison Ford, seeing as his Indiana Jones character was pretty much ruined and degraded in the Crystal Skull. Two being that there hasn't been a real death scene for any of the six Rebels. Sure, 3PO and R2 have kind of gotten destroyed, and Han was practically dead in between episodes 5 and 6, but there was really no permanent damage dealt. And three, we need to see Han die. Let me elaborate a bit more. Han Solo is one of the most iconic film characters of all time, so he needs an iconic death. The only way to kill off Han would be to sacrifice him for his friends and family. The idea of Han dying wouldn't be nearly as impactful if he just died of old age or Greedo's cousin ran over to Han and quickly took vengeance for the Rodian's death. We need to actually see how Han dies. That's what would have made his death in Episode 5 so impactful. Because not only is Han sacrificing himself to save his friends a great way to end off the character, it would also give the rest of the crew a huge motivation to seek retaliation and avenge Han's demise. A heroic death is really the best action to take from a narrative and thematic perspective helping move the story along to the future films. Of course, I think that it may be better that Han die in Episode 8 or 9, echoing Harrison Ford's original wish for Han to die in The Empire Strikes Back or Return of the Jedi, the second and third acts in the trilogy. It would also allow us to re-familiarize ourselves with this older Han Solo for at least one film. So right now you're probably thinking, you've just said that Han should sacrifice himself for the good of his friends, but how? Just imagine this scenario. Han Solo volunteers to go in place of his friends in the middle of a war, leaving Chewbacca to look after Leia. In the middle of a battle above a barren planet, such as Tatooine, the Millennium Falcon gets shot down. Han radios back to Chewie and Leia saying his final farewells as the Falcon crashes into the dunes. That's right, I also want the Millennium Falcon to be lost. I don't think that the legacy of the Falcon would be fulfilled if it was just passed down to someone else after Han died. Of course, it could be used as a way to symbolize Han after death. Maybe Chewie will leave the Solo family seeing that his life debt towards Han had been terminated and could keep the Falcon. But these are all just ideas. But that doesn't necessarily mean that this theory is completely unrealistic. I've tried to avoid as many Episode 7 rumors or supposed leaks as possible, but when I heard that my hopes of a Han Solo death scene may be a reality, I did a bit of research. To save all of you from potential spoilers, I'll resist from sharing what I've found, but I can tell you that it is seeming more and more legit the closer we come to the release of Episode 7. There isn't much more to say. Han Solo needs to die because it will help motivate his friends. It will also show that these rebels who have faced so much are nowhere near unbeatable. 
Han's death would convey weakness in the Rebel Alliance and deepen the character development, as well as giving Han's character a fitting adieu. So that's why I think Han Solo needs to die in the sequel trilogy. Subscribe to Star Geek for weekly Star Wars content. If you agree that Han should die, disagree, or just enjoyed the video, please shoot that like button at light speed. You can go check out my Facebook page linked in the description below, as it really helps me out and you like my page. If you go over to the page, you will get frequent news on Star Wars Episode 7, Star Geek episodes, memes, and even Han Solo. Also, go and check out my Twitter account, at StarGeekYT, for tons of quick updates. Try clicking on the screen to subscribe, and click on the link to the left for my last video, my one-year anniversary celebration, and montage music video. You can also click on the right to watch my Factor Beam episode on Qui-Gon Jinn. Don't forget to like the video, and comment on your own opinion below the video. Until we meet again in a galaxy far, far away, this has been Stargeek. You may have heard of the slogan, Beef, it's what's for dinner. But what if your dinner ends up being chewy? Well, you best avoid Han Solo.